Hello, today we're going to cover the basic overview of the AWS Sense Level 1 welding program. AWS is the American Welding Society. Sense is, stands for Schools Excelling in National Standards Education. There are two levels uh, that are offered by the American Welding Society, but we're going to focus on Level 1 here today. In this program, it is a general overview or basic level uh, welding theory and practical uh, skills that are acquired. There are nine modules included in AWS level one, which would include number one, occupational orientation, which would cover the welding industry, jobs available, and other general information that any welder should know. Module two would be safety and health of welders. Module three is drawing and welding symbol interpretation. Four is SMAW, shielded metal arc welding, also known as stick welding. Module five is gas metal arc welding, GMAW, also known as MIG or MAG, metal inert gas or metal active gas. Module six is FCAW, flux cord arc welding. Module seven is GTAW, gas tungsten arc welding, commonly referred to as TIG, tungsten inert gas. Module eight is thermal cutting processes, such as oxyacetylene cutting, uh, carbon arc gouging, and plasma arc cutting. Module nine is welding inspection and testing. In this program, the student is required to go through all nine modules, and depending on the module, there may be a theory examination or also uh, practical uh, skill tests that are required. Module one, being just a background, is something that students will just go through the content, but there are no exams required for AWS. Module two is safety, and this is 100% theory. There is one test that must be completed to 100% accuracy. Students who do not get 100% accuracy on this test cannot receive the certifications for AWS Sense Level 1. We allow students three opportunities to pass this safety test at 100%. If the student cannot pass it, they must retake the course. Module 3 is Drawing and Welding Symbol Interpretation. There is one exam which students are allowed to take three times, but you must pass with a 75% or higher. Modules four, five, six, and seven are practical and theory on four different welding processes. As mentioned earlier, SMAW, GMAW, FCAW, and GTAW. In each of these, students will take a practical examination uh, for various metals or weld joints. Depending on which class it is, you may take two or up to three different practical tests on different materials. For example, stick requires two weld tests one would be in the 2G position, and one would be in the 3G position. For gas metal arc welding, there are two practical tests, which would be short circuit welding and also uh, spray transfer welding. So there are two of those for MIG. Flux core has two as well, one for dual shield, flux core welding and self-shielded flux core welding. The items that you would build uh, would be similar to this. I don't have those here today, um, but they are the exact same project done twice, 
one self shield, one dual shield. And then the last one would be gas tungsten arc welding, which includes uh, practical uh, skill assessment on steel here, stainless steel, and aluminum, which I do not have in front of me today. For all of those modules, four, five, six, and seven, there is also an accompanying uh, theory examination required. So on those tests, the students are allowed three attempts with a 75% or higher. Module eight is thermal cutting processes, and this only includes a theory examination, which covers uh, oxy fuel cutting, plasma arc cutting, and carbon arc gouging and cutting. Finally, module nine is welding inspection and testing, and this is, again, just a theory examination. Three attempts, 75% or higher. These minimum test scores are required to achieve the AWS Sense Level 1 certifications and also the card that you could be provided. You can receive up to four certifications. So there's one for stick, one for MIG, one for TIG, and one for flux core. The student that passes everything has the ability to receive four certifications plus a card that would list all four of those on there. Check uh, online and you can see the actual certifications. Um, AWS does a nice job uh, putting together their certificates uh, which can then later be printed on maybe a thicker piece of paper like a card stock in color and then you know put into some type of weld portfolio that a student can then take to a job interview. So that covers what is included in the AWS Sense Level 1. Uh, refer to the different booklets uh, which is uh, in included online in your learning management system. Um, and it would explain all of the requirements as well. Typically in a class, we would provide a student with a, with a handout that could allow us to check all of the boxes. Uh, now AWS does a lot of their stuff online, um, where in the past we used to do everything paper copy, and then we would send that material in. Uh, there is a cost associated with AWS Sense Level 1, uh, to be a student involved with this program, and then they would receive their certificates and their wallet card uh, upon completion. This is a basic level uh, program, which can definitely get students the skills they need to get an entry level welding position. Thanks for watching and uh, check out more of my videos. Thank you.